So today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial for Paint.net and this is how to do lighting on Paint.net. Um, if you do designs, I'm just using a uh, I'm just using a hockey player as an example. But anyways, what you're gonna want to do um, is kind of place your lighting source. So where's the lighting coming from? Like if it's in the corner or if it's behind the player. Uh, I'm gonna do it behind the player, and I'm just gonna show you how to do it quickly. So you, what I usually do is I usually duplicate the light layer that I'm lighting twice. You can just do it once, but I do it uh, twice. Just to uh, just have one back back up just in case. So then I hide these two and I have the one in the middle, and I want to make it lighter. Sorry, I kind of did that fast. So you want to go to adjustments, brightness, then contrast, and then make it brighter. There. Once you have that done, uh, show the other layer. Go back to adjustments. Brightness and contrast, and then make it darker. So you're gonna have the darker layer on top, and then the lighter layer on the bottom. And what you're gonna do is take a big brush, um, maybe make it 600. This 600 is good for this picture, but it will uh, depend on what size your canvas is and your image. And I'm just gonna go and kind of erase along the edges of Connor McDavid. And you see kind of shines the light on the outside of him and not on the inside too much. So there's a bit of lighting. And um, if you ever find it's not good enough you can always use this method to adjust the brightness more, you know, make it lighter or make it darker. But um, I want to show you a different, um, not a different method, but make the brush a bit smaller. Uh, no, that's bigger. Make it smaller. And you can do a bit of a smaller lighting. And sometimes this effect is more exaggerated, it's better. In some cases, it's when the light is less, it won't bleed as much into the the subject. So I'm just going to show you here. And I find this is the best method for lighting on Paint.net. Um, unless you have like a plugin, which uh, I don't think you need really. I mean, I've always used this and it's a, it's a good method. So um, anyways guys, if, uh, if you want more Paint.net tutorials, I can maybe do a series on them or you can just let me know what you want to know and I will show you. I've been using paint.net for a couple years now and um, I'm pretty comfortable with it so I think I'm ready to give tutorials on it now. Anyways guys, spin shots up 11 and I'm out.